Rugby is a complicated sport. Sometimes fans can be completely lost on what is going on. We'll say no more. Here are some of the basic rules that can help your next Geneva College rugby viewing experience. Rugby games start off very similar to football games. A kickoff. In order to kick the ball, the ball must drop, hit the ground, and then be kicked. After the receiving team gets the ball, we move into the next rule, the pass. In order to move the ball, all passes must be lateral or behind. They cannot be passed forward. Any pass forward can result in the opposing team receiving the ball. If the opposing team finds a way to tackle the player, it's important to know what is a proper tackle. In rugby, players are instructed to tackle below the chest like this. Anything higher can result in a yellow or even red card, which can take you out of the game. On occasion, the ball can be kicked out of bounds from a drop kick. In these scenarios, the teams form a line-out formation. This is when both teams hoist a player up in order to catch the ball and retain possession. Once the ball is received by the hoisted player, he will pass it back to resume play. One of the most iconic plays in rugby is the scrum. A scrum is a means of restarting play after a minor infringement. It involves up to eight players from each team known as the pack, binding together in three rows and interlocking with the opposing team. Both teams compete to move the scrum forward in order to win possession of the ball and continue play. One of the most exciting plays in rugby is known as the try. Once a team finally makes it the distance to the opposing team's end zone, the player will dive and tap the ball to ensure the try, rewarding them five points. Tries can be done in a multitude of ways. Check out these ones. Now that you know the basic rules to rugby, you can fully enjoy your next Geneva College rugby experience. See you on the pitch. Ah, ah.